I'm Kate Brown, Oregon's Secretary of State. Part of my job is to make voting more convenient and accessible for all eligible Oregonians. So today, I want to talk with you about National Voter Registration Day. We're partnering with organizations from all over the country to get people registered to vote. In Oregon, you can register to vote when you're 17 years old. So even if you turn 18 on election day, you will automatically receive your ballot in the mail. It's really easy to vote, and our vote by mail system is the most secure and transparent system in the country. Time is running out. You must be registered 21 days before the election day, which is in November. So if you're 17 years or older, please consider filling out a voter registration card. It's really easy. You have to declare that you're a citizen of the United States and that you're at least 17 years old. If you can answer yes to both of these questions, move ahead. Fill in your name, address, and birthday. If you have a driver's license number, you'll need to provide that. And if you don't, just fill in the last four digits of your social security number. Then if you want, choose a political party to affiliate with, but you don't have to. Finally, sign your name. That's it. You're registered to vote in Oregon. Alternatively, you can always register online using our My Vote system. Just have your ID card with you and you're good to go. Once you turn 18, you will get your ballot sent to the address you provided. Just fill out the ballot and send it back. In November, Oregonians will be voting on some very important ballot measures that affect your rights. We'll also be deciding who will be our representatives in both state and federal government. If you don't vote, someone else is going to make these important decisions for you about your rights and your representatives. So it's important that younger people are heard. Go ahead and get registered. Your vote is your voice and every voice matters. Hello, I'm Perez Hilton. Did you know that more people in the United States check their Facebook and watch the Super Bowl than exercise their right to vote? We've got some serious issues to deal with. So how come so many of us don't even bother to vote? Is it because we don't care? Or maybe it's because we don't know our history. So let's go back, way back. Our country's first election came after fighting for our independence, a fight that cost many lives, but it was worth it because instead of being ruled by a king, we were finally able to make our own laws. But not everybody was allowed to participate. You see, back then, you had to own property, be white, and a man in order to actually vote. Now, things continued that way for about 80 years, until after the Civil War, when slavery was abolished and